Where's that BB fam? Learn Bang. Back with another episode. We all about that foodie, yo. We love everybody, though. Bangin's out some more episodes. No drama. It's all about mama. No sticking to a script. It's real life. Honey, stay tuned. And don't forget to watch them episodes. We all about that foodie, yo. Thanks, BB fam. Love y'all. Hey y'all, how's it going? This is Vern Bang, and guess what? We're back, back, banging, banging out another episode, baby. So yes, we're doing a childhood favorite. I don't think I've actually, I probably ate them on my channel, either this channel, because I got two channels, in case y'all didn't know. Uh, I'm not loading anything to my second channel. They're both Vern Bang, Vern Bang with the Space is my first channel that you're watching now. Vern Bang put all together is my second channel. So I don't know if I did them on that channel. I'm sure I've ate them on my channel before. I probably never titled them. But anyways, these are officially being titled Mexican corn dogs. I grew up eating these. We ate them as kids. Uh, we ate them with mustard. We ate them with hot sauce. So we're gonna eat them with mustard and hot sauce. And uh, yeah, go down memory lane, baby. So let's get a little prayer in. Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you do in our life, Lord. I just want to pray for everybody in the whole wide world. You know their hearts. You know their needs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alrighty, y'all. So, yes. These are simple little treats to eat. I mean, simple. Yeah, they're very easy to eat. But these are simple little treats to make. Turn the bottle around. That way you can see lips. Beautiful hot sauce. Yeah, we're going to eat some Lips hot sauce on these because these are chicken and pork and this is going to go beautifully. It goes beautifully with mustard. Uh, and this doesn't look like French's. We got French's Incognito. Uh, and I'll tell you why a little bit further down the lane. Uh, but yeah, these are so easy to make. All you do is heat up some corn tortillas in the microwave. Put your fryer on, number one, first before you get the recipe going. Put your fryer on for 20 25 minutes, however long it takes to heat up at 350 and get that going. And then once that's going, you put your, I put the whole pack of tortillas, corn tortillas in the microwave, heat them up until, you know, you can roll them. They're going to be hot and steamy. That, when you know, they're going to be able to roll real easy. Get you some toothpicks, which I use toothpicks, and I do one at an angle this way and one at an angle this way. Make sure it stays closed. And, uh... That's it. You just deep fry them. Roll them, pin them, deep fry them, baby. And deep fry them until they're nice and golden, crunchy brown. And they're delicious. So, yeah, I've been eating this for a long time. Ever since I was a kid. So, I don't know where I've seen them and who started making them first. I just remember growing up eating these and they are delicious. And I still eat them to this day because they're a quick, easy, easy snack. When you ain't got time to make nothing, right here so anywho let's get to eating and i'll show you this one every once in a while you get one because even though you pick them with toothpicks you think they're going to act right like all these acted right they're nice and beautiful but you'll get one that wants to blow up on you and not act right so we're going to go ahead and eat that one first but yes they're nice and crunchy we'll get a little asmr in if y'all can should be able to hear me but anyways, the reason why the French's uh, mustard is in the incognito bottle is because we got a big, big bag filled up from the serving center with nothing but the little packages of French's. So I was bored one day, and I sat there with a pair of scissors, cut them all open, and refilled this empty bottle up. So now we got a whole bottle of French's. Mustard. You talk about frugal, baby. Yes, honey. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Yeah. I should have brought some water. We'll see. Well, I know I'm going to need some water. Mmm. Mmm. What's that? 
Same. Mm-mm-mm. Get your VB back. Get your Varn Bank back. OMG. Crunchy. Mm. Crispy. Get that nice five. Hot dog. The beef. Me run and go get my water bottle. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna drink. Uh, I actually got some uh, Old Orchard Healthy Balance Cranberry, and this has only got one gram of sugar. It's got diet sugar, so we're gonna drink some cranberry juice. My favorite um, blah, blah, blah. my favorite one that I normally get is uh, raspberry pomegranate. Cranberry juice. Honey, it is money, but they haven't been having it. Or it's just straight cranberry like this one, or they'll have cran grape or cran apple. Are usually the usual combinations. Here lately, they only been having the uh, cranberry or cran apple. So, yes, y'all, look. We put a dent in some lips. I love this soft sauce. sauce. And, um, Go to twolips.com and get you some hot sauce. This is the original. Uh, he has the spicy one as well. Baby, go get you some merch. He's got some beautiful, beautiful merch. Yes. Check it out. And of course, some lips. Here we go. Mm. I'm telling you, your lips and that mustard, my beer. Lips smacking good. Oh, yeah. Let's try it without the mustard. Here you go. If y'all ate these before, or had these, or made these, let me know in the comments. And if y'all hadn't, it's a simple recipe. Just like I said, try them. They are good. And if y'all don't know uh, any of my history or anything, I grew up in, uh, I was born and I grew up for a little bit in San Antonio, Texas. And on the south side, in the ghetto, <laughs> lived with my mom for a while. And uh, yeah, so I grew up on all kinds of food, all kinds of Mexican food. That's why I love them. And uh, menudo and enchiladas and all that stuff. And that's why I know how to make it because I just grew up eating it my whole life and learning how to make it. And, Story's that. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mom was also born and raised in San Antonio. Her whole life. And she lived there until she was I want to say 40 or 45 years old, probably. And then she moved down here. But yeah. 
Love this recipe. It is so good. Mm-mm-mm. Sorry, y'all. Being so rude. What are y'all eating with me? I know it's got to be something delicious. Let me know in the comments. What are y'all snacking with me? Let me know in the comments as well, honey. Yes. OMG. This is so, so good. Some of that. Some of this. Mustard that way. <laughs> Let me give y'all some. All right, y'all. Come on, get a VB bite. Get that worm bacon bite. Oh, it is so good. Mmm. Oh, God. Nicely steaming. Mmm. I just fried these and came right on camera. Mm -hmm. It's not super cold, but it's cool. Smacking good, baby. <laughs> For lack of a better word. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> I cram very good. Wonder what the number one requested gift for the holidays are besides the the PlayStation 5 or whatever. <laughs> I already know that one. <laughs> that was probably for like You know, kids, young adults, or whatever. The children, under 18, is requesting from their parents. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I find it interesting. Probably still the same, whatever the latest and greatest is. I know it's that, or computers, back when I was a kid. Back when I was a kid, the computers were 3.5 hard disks and they still had the floppies attached. <laughs> mm. 
always never fails. But that's all right. You hit the good old shirt with the napkin. You're right. And let it dry, nobody would never know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Cameron's got two Mikey books in it, so hopefully picking up some of this crunch. Baby. Mm. Man, oh my. Eating a food and it just takes you back to memory lane, you know, growing up and memories of your childhood. Mm. Little food transportation, baby. <laughs> Teleport. <laughs> So, so good. Keep y'all. Anyways, peace. Day drill. And you've been. <laughs> Learn bang, baby. Alrighty, y'all. Y'all have a beautiful, beautiful day. And you do you. I already know you're going to be the best, you. And honey, never, never, never let anybody ever change you. The sugar you and you and you are perfect just the way you are. Alrighty, y'all.